Before his death, Michael Jackson fiercely protected his children's privacy. And now, nearly one year after their father's passing, the Jackson kids are showing up on YouTube. Let's get the scoop now from todayshow.com's Courtney Hazlett. Courtney, you hear that and you sort of cringe because you always want children to be protected. Sure. But what are they actually doing what on YouTube? What they're actually doing, if we can, we can put it up here right now, they're just being kids. You see these images of Paris right there, and then there are other ones of Blanket doing uh, kind of a scene from Star Wars, it would appear. And I was speaking to a source very close to the Jackson family, asking this person about these videos. He said, you know what? They're just kids being kids. And I I think if you know anybody who's of this age, they're posting these sorts of things on YouTube, right. on Facebook. I mean, as if adolescence wasn't hard enough when you and I did it, now it's being documented in front of everyone. In in front Thank of goodness everybody. they didn't have that when I was exactly, young. Exactly, exactly. So this is just the Jackson kids being normal. Why is it out there? That's the second question. There's some talk that maybe it might have been leaked to show that they are just normal kids. You know, child services is always watching this family. There are always rumors about them about how the kids are doing, whether things are a, a safe situa safe and healthy situation for them. I'm hearing there is some talk that maybe this is just something to put out there to show, you know what, the kids are just fine. Interesting, though, because Michael Jackson always was very fiercely protective and, and didn't want his kids out there that much. Okay, let's go to the next one, because uh, here there may be a new Susan Boyle out That's there. That's right. Janie Cutler is her name. You remember when Susan Boyle became a huge sensation? Well, they're saying that this woman is the next one. Um, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. Let's let's hear some sound really quickly. <laughs> To me, that just doesn't have the same magic that Susan Boyle had. I commend her for going out there and projecting well. But <laughs> to me, that it's just not the exact same magic. No, you can it's tell the, 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 the judges' faces. Exactly. Not as, uh, yeah, she's, she's definitely talented, but I don't think we're going to be seeing her with record contracts or having some huge sort of uh, resurgence long after that. The woman who has had a resurgence oh, lately, no kidding. Betty White, yeah, she can't was get enough on Leno last night, and she had some funny, funny comments to say about Jay-Z. <laughs> who was the musical oh. guest on Saturday Night Live when she hosted it. Take a look. Tell me about Jay-Z. I understand he got a little fresh. What happened there? Well, he didn't get fresh. He just got desperate, I guess. I <laughs> he just walked by and, you know, patted me. And, he, you know, how somebody walks by and pats you? Yeah. Well, it, he, he walked by and patted me. <laughs> Not on the shoulder. Not on the shoulder. There, there you is. go. Very frisky Jay-Z. Listen, if Betty Wise wants to be left alone, she needs to stop being funny and charming. Because there that's you go. that's unscripted off the cuff, and she's obviously just a great sport. Oh, she's brilliant. Now everyone wants her to host the Oscars, so we'll see whether that comes exactly. to be. We'll get your scoop on that. I'll let you know about well, that. And for the very latest <laughs> entertainment news, you can log on to thescoop.todayshow.com.